Hey YouTube, this is Southern Prepper One. Today I want to talk about uh, satellite phones. I'm getting a lot of questions about those, but first, uh, thank you for everyone that has bought a set of the cards, 300 cards scenarios, uh, and supported us. Uh, JD has dropped the price on the Mylar to less than, I think, less than 18. Don't quote me on that. Uh, to sell them because no one's thinking about Mylar in the middle of the summer. So he said, you know what, people that are paying attention will drop the price. Uh, and also, I think he dropped $5 on the filters. So if you collect the little box on Amazon, uh, $5 off, uh, as cheap as I think we've ever sold them or the price we've sold them on special sales. But let me get right into it. Um, satellite phones. I have used satellite phones. In the military, I used them. I had access to them, and they were awesome. Um, it was awesome to be able to talk to my wife and kids uh, from the middle of nowhere. Uh, they were also very important in emergencies when, when soldiers uh, had babies. Uh, well, they didn't have babies, but their wives had babies. It was nice to immediately let that soldier talk to his wife and find out what's going on. Take that pressure uh, of, a, of a healthy baby away, like you're worried. Uh, or birthday sometimes. Um, big events that soldier couldn't be there it was awesome to have a sat phone so they're great but should the average prepper have a satellite phone um, I would say no probably 99% of us don't need them um, satellite phones are nice now the weather will affect it and you need to be outside but if you're in a remote remote area and, and there's no cell towers you're gonna get out uh, during natural disaster where cell towers are down, that satellite phone is probably going to get out uh, and you'll be able to communicate. Satellite phones are expensive. So you first have to buy the satellite phone and then you have to buy the plan. And the plans can run anywhere from $50 to $100. If you're in a very worst case event, maybe, you know, a World War III, uh, cyber attack, there's no guarantee that satellite phone is going to work. There's no guarantee that you'll have access. Uh, they might be able to switch off all the civilian sat phones uh, so you can't use it. The cost alone is one thing. Now, let's say you're a businessman or woman and you travel a lot, you do a lot of things, and you can buy one and use it as a business expense. Legitimately use it a few times uh, during the month or so. So you can document that this is a business expense. Um, that might be a way to make it a little bit more affordable. Um, or if you travel a lot, you just want to be able to talk home. Now, a lot of people I talk to, I ask them, okay, you're going to get a sat phone. Who are you going to talk to? And they say, uh, I don't know. I don't know anyone with a sat phone. So that's another problem. You have a sat phone. Who are you going to call that has a sat phone that you guys can communicate with if the whole phone system's down, the cellular or the landlines are down? So 99.9% .9 of us probably don't need one. Uh, I came very close to buying one just because a person I knew wanted one and he wanted someone to talk to. Um, came close, but we did not do it. The battery life on a, on a sat phone, it, I think it goes down quicker than a regular phone, if I can remember right, from overseas. Uh, so you have to have a means to recharge that sat phone. I have changed my attitude about telephones. Five or six days ago, my phone went dead. Well, seven or eight days ago, actually. My I, have a, I guess it's an Android. I don't even know. I don't even know the model number, but it's. I guess they call it a smartphone. And I really don't even use it for anything other than texting and calling. The data for when I'm out of the house is not even on. I can only use Wi-Fi. Um, so my phone died seven, eight days ago. So I bought a new one, and I wanted a flip phone. So I bought a flip phone, just the old-fashioned flip phone. So in doing so, I have the ability to take the battery out. Um, and, and that was important to me. Also, that other phone just tracks everything. It knows where you are with the GPS. Uh, hopefully this one will give me uh, the ability to take that um, battery out and not have that worry. So, that saying, I am not texting anymore. So if you text me, I'm not trying to be mean or rude or crude or bad. I am not going to text you back. I've told my great friends, hey, I'm not going to text you. First of all, 
if I texted everyone back every day that texted me, all I would be doing is texting. I'd give them my number out thousands and thousands and thousands of people. I don't mind talking on the phone. If I got a text, even on this one, I got to grab some reading glasses. And 99% of the time, I'm working. I don't have reading glasses on me. So I like calls better. So if you're texting me and I don't answer you, it's nothing personal. I'm not mad at you. Email me or physically call my number. I'd rather talk. Uh, especially now, if you know how hard it is now, you got to find the letter and then go left or right to get the right letter. I am not going to do that. First of all, it's for my own sanity, my own mental health. Um, so I'm not mad at anyone if you text me, email me, or call me. Um, getting back to the sat phones. If you're saying you need a sat phone, and your people you're gonna call are close enough, you need to work on radio. I'd rather you take that $1,000 for that sat phone or whatever it's gonna cost you and put into a radio equipment, be it GMRS, base units, 50 watts, be it ham, be it anything, MERS, family radio. Get everything you need, set it up, and start contacting your friends, working it out. It is so important. I challenge you, if you think you got a good comms plan, for seven days in a row, have a time picked out and contact each other. Um, we have learned that weather affects it. All kinds of things can affect it. It's really easy if you're struggling. This unit right here is a GMRS 50 watt unit. Um, I have a buddy about 12 miles away that I need to talk to. We can talk to him with that unit. We are in the mountains. If you're on flat ground, you're going to be able to stretch that to 20 miles probably, maybe more. Um, I challenge you, get your comms up every day. Do comms check with whatever people you want to talk to in an emergency. Do not also have the cell phone. Don't call them on the cell and say, hey, you ready to do that check? All right. And you get on the radio and you got the cell phone here. Hey, do you hear me? Don't do it. Leave this out because what I have found... By doing that, sometimes my directional antenna, I need to fine tune it. Um, if you're really stretching the limits of your equipment, uh, it's nice to be able to, hey, it's it's eight o'clock at night, 2000, I gotta get my radio on, turn it on, and you don't hear anybody. Nowadays, you don't hear anybody, you grab your cell phone and hey, what's up? And then you can make corrections on your radios. Don't do that. Don't have that cell phone. For five minutes, try to get them. Try to tune things. Try to work it through. Because in a grid down event, when you really need this equipment, this is not going to be operational. So don't even count on it. So for seven day challenge, get your comms up, communicate. See if you can do it in all types of weather without using the cell phone to remind someone or to do something. So sat phones, if you're a wealthy, wealthy, wealthy person and you can afford it and to you it's just chump change, go ahead and get a sat phone. If every dollar counts to you, get some type of radio where you can communicate with your loved ones and get a plan now. Because it's going to be pure panic. Uh, you are going to be uh, in the dark if you don't have a good comms plan. And to the guys and gals that have all the equipment bought, but they haven't assembled it, haven't put their radio up, they haven't tested it, haven't worked out every single bug, you're not going to be able to work out all the bugs if you need to talk to certain individuals. Because without being able to call them, without having a plan what day, what time you're going to be on, it's going to be impossible to communicate. So work it out now. Thanks for watching.